It's tough out there, man. He's overrated, man. Who, Derrick Rose? Yeah. You think so? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, we can talk about it. All right, man, welcome back. Episode 55, 55 man. man. Cinco y Cinco. Better left on set. 50 y Cinco. 50 y Cinco. Yeah, I'm just going to show you. Yeah, we back. Back again. Double nickel. Yes, Go sir. New York City. Ain't that what the double nickel game was? The garden, right? No, it was not. It was in the garden. No. It was the garden. Did he do that show? No. That was, that was I cool. said when he did the double nickel oh, game. Okay. Yeah. Yes. The record at the time it might not it might not be no more. But whatever, man. We back, man. So let's get let's get let's get right to it, man. What, what we want to start with, man? The boy D Rose retired. We can start basketball. Go ahead. The boy D Rose retired. He, he definitely did retire, man. He definitely did. I mean, hey man, you know, shout out to D Rose. He had a good four or five years. Honestly, because so he's he giving him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, though, after he won MVP, he ain't been the same since he tore his ACL. Yeah. You yeah. know, he was, he was a solid six man off the bench. He had a solid few starting jobs. You know, he went to the Knicks after. He went to Minnesota. He went to a few places. He went to Memphis. For he went to Memphis. Too, for, he was just in Memphis. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, he had his time. But, um, you know, shout out to D-Rose, man. He did what he did. He was, he was great for his time. He did. He did what he was supposed to do. He got his MVP. One of the most athletic guards we've seen. I can make an argument. He was the most athletic guard. I mean, it's a couple names in that bucket, but he definitely is. Yeah. In a running for. It. You know what I'm saying? During that time, it was Westbrook, him, John Wall. John Wall in that conversation, but. No, I'm saying that at the time, guards, yeah, 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 the fast you know, guards. Uh, the fast yeah. guards. He was an all-star too, so. He was, yeah, for sure. Oh, uh, he was a. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Shout out D Rose, man. Legendary uh, impact, man. He definitely huge, he was huge. especially. I mean, Chicago could speak more to this than, than we could. He definitely, he's agree. from there and he put on for that for that team. To be from there and get drafted by that team and actually make a difference is a lot. For sure, it's a lot. You know, they got to the. You know, what I'm saying they played a lot against LeBron and couldn't do nothing with it. But I mean, they you know they did what they could. Yeah, man. Any any other NBA players that speak to having to guard him always say the same thing, bro. Too fit, too fast, too strong. You know, what I'm saying couldn't do nothing with it. Too athletic, too quick. Yeah, it was just there. Yeah, there was nothing. We we watched it. I mean, yeah, wasn't the greats. I mean, I mean, of course, the career, like you said, got cut short as far as peak athletic ability. Definitely, and the confidence definitely went with it. Um, mm -hmm. So we never saw probably the best version of, of what he yeah. would have been because even then his jumper was was still improving. Very much so. Yeah, you know I mean, so it's just a lot of athletic ability that Very he was so. still dominating. He was, he was. That little floater that he had, Floor. that little, you know what I'm saying? You get to the basket. Yeah, one of the I mean, best finishers. He was. I mean, it. when you talk about under the basket, I know we talk about Kyrie doing all of this, but D Rose was up and under the king for the longest. Man, so. uh, kissing the glass, high off the yeah, mm -hmm. it was nasty, man. Yeah, it was. Some skill said that a lot of these young kids don't even got. I mean, you think, I look at, I look at not even the young kids. Look at somebody like Westbrook, who, you know, when they talk yeah, about Westbrook athletic, never had, yeah. that's what I'm saying. If you look at yeah. athletic guards who can get to the basket at will, he's just strong. Yes. Yeah. Everything got to be a it. dunk or it got to be like, oh, real, he got to slow down and do a layup. Yeah. He rose going 100 miles an hour yeah. in the air Touch with no problem. Man. So Yeah, that's a real skill, man. He, it's a, a few players like that. Uh, so, you definitely, he definitely one of the best ever, man. It's, as far as what we've seen pure talent-wise. Yeah, definitely. He not going to have a GOAT resume, but we, I mean, if you know, you know. It's like when them '90s player on Rock Strickland or something. You, you have to be yeah, there. You, you, know? be there. you know what I'm saying? Remember when Tim, how Tim Hardaway Tim was? Tim Hardaway was. Yeah. yeah. You know, what the nickname was? Nick Van Exel. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Man. Definitely. So, so yeah. yeah, it's one of those. Yeah, so, man. What's in the best? Well, I mean, we're gonna stay in basketball, man. You know, R.I.P. One of the greatest defenders to ever touch a basketball, to ever block a basketball, the Kimbe Mutombo. Rest in peace, to Kimbe, man. You know, the finger wagged because of him. For sure, man. Uh, him and AI. Mm hmm. We know what they was doing together. They up in here for, ooh, in Philly. We know. I had that boy on commercials, man. Years after he retired. Doing no, the no, 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 no. No, no, no. I think someone could you monster. <laughs> real, definitely a real uh, uh, NBA icon when it comes mm -hmm. to uh, defense and just having an impact, bro. You know what I'm definitely. saying? Like, you got to make your cement yourself as what you represent in the league. Like, when folks start coming in and they comparing they skills to what you used to bring. I mean, think about, like, you know, somebody like, because when, you know, these kids nowadays don't realize how much defense make an impact. Facts. But you look at players like, like the Kimberly Tumble or like mm -hmm. uh, Dennis Rodman, 
you know, those guys right there, like defense matters, the hustle matters. Contributing to winning teams, yeah. man. It definitely does matter, man. Definitely a, a, a big loss. Uh, I mean, we lost uh, Bill Russell not too long ago, too, mm-hmm. so it's just a lot of NBA just, um, you know, just tragedies. Bill Russell, just, Kobe, yeah, all of that, Kobe just, you know. Yeah. So, I mean, even another great, uh, a baseball great, though, Pete Rose. Pete Rose, man, controversial guy. Yeah, he speaks to that. I've never been a baseball dude. I, I was a baseball fan, but I don't really, I know who Pete Rose is. I wasn't, the, I ain't looking to him too much, man. Yeah. He was very controversial, but, I mean, you know, that ain't got nothing to do with me. You know what I'm saying? One of the white greats. <laughs> they say he won the best ever. I don't yeah, know. He was, man. One of the great whites, man. I can't speak to the man. All, right. I, all I know is his name. <laughs> <laughs> I know his role. You know? I agree. I agree. I mean, uh, unfortunately, just one more, one more death. Not in sports, but uh, you know, from good times. John oh, Amos. boy, John Amos, man, yeah. rest in peace. Mm-hmm. Legend. He is legend. He's legend. legend. Lots of movies. Lots of movies you've seen. Hell yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I mean, you know, of course, he's most notably known for Good Times, mm-hmm. and uh, that's a forever a staple. I want to say it was uh, that was premiering in the '60s or '70s, and people still quoting it to this day. To the day, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Damn, damn, damn <laughs> all that shit. You know what I'm saying? We already know what Janet Jackson career popped off from. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, D, uh, DJ, uh, what's his name? JJ, my bad. Yeah, Dino Mike. Dino Mike and all that extra shit, man. Had had Dave Chappelle making skits off that type. Of, you know what I mean? Come literally, on, literally, literally. You know what they did? One of the all-time <laughs> most impactful shows in black. History. Sitcom, I guess if you call that so Is that a sitcom? Yeah, yeah, that's a sitcom. Uh, yeah, Definitely a sitcom. Sitcom history for sure. That gotta be top ten ever. Yeah, it has to um, be. Off of Impact alone. Rest in peace, John Amos, man. He was definitely uh and if you watch his interviews, he was a, a, a very introspective uh, Her, yeah, he definitely dude, was he spoke a lot about what it meant to be black back in that mm-hmm. time and what it when he was dealing with in the industry. I agree. He had his moral code intact, you understand what I'm saying? So we got that rest in peace set out of the way. Hey, yeah. Anybody else we missing, man? No, nah, I don't. Well, not from my knowledge right now. Not from my knowledge. Um, give another shout out to uh, Rich Homie Kwan. He yeah, just yeah, dropped he out. definitely just dropped out. What, 34 songs? A lot of music. 34 songs. A lot of music. It, I think they may have wanted to get all of it out at one time. I don't know the, the, the logic behind it, but um, forever going in. I mean, Here's my only thought, right? I mean, he just passed or whatever. He might have had something in the works anyway because I've heard a few people actually talk about it saying that he was literally working on something so, before that. So yeah. I was thinking that maybe that they was like, hey, while well, it's fresh, you know, he just passed, let's just go ahead and get it out. He may not have and he may not have that much music ready to just drop. So since we have something ready to drop, let's just go ahead and do it. I, I do know he was promoting this single, Achi, with Two Chains before he passed. Okay. I do know that song was... Uh, Either about the premiere or did premiere. Okay. Oh yeah, it actually came out uh, in July. Okay. 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 Yeah, that was a single that he. Did you give it a listen? Yeah, I, I've been heard it song. Yeah. All right. All right. I haven't listened to the album. No. Okay. okay. Album. That's a lot of music to get through. From, yeah. It is. That's thirty-four songs is a lot though. Oh uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not doing anything over like sixteen, and that's. And that's good. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, that's good. I can't do all that. But rest in peace, Rich Homie. Definitely go give him a listen. Uh, run his streams up. I believe he said he own, owns all his masters before he passed, so his Which family will be the great. beneficiaries. He does have kids, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So go run it up, man. One of the uh, Atlanta legends. So, I mean, RP to somebody else, though. Did his career. Oh, <laughs> shit. Um, Is it really over? No, nah, that shit's over, dog. That shit's sure. over, man. Is R. Kelly's career over? Yes. It's been over. I'm just trying to get a measure and stick. Up. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, it's been over. I mean, people to, people still talk about it. People still, saying, you know. The music and we not muting them all that, so. You know, yeah. You know what I mean? But I see, I feel like Diddy's is continuing to get worse and worse, right? Okay. You know, um, of course, we don't downplay anything that R. Kelly did because I feel like that is still sick. You're touching on younger, you know, adolescents age-wise, so you, okay. know, you never give a pass to that, but the stories that you're hearing from Diddy and just even, I mean, bump that. That video that came out with Cassie was absolutely disgusting. Okay. So that's a start right there, right? Yeah. And then to hear some of the stories about like, you know, we don't care, like to me personally, it's just to throw you off, the little freak off that you're having mad people having sex. We don't care about none of that. The baby oil, you, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? You just a horny ass nigga and you freaky as hell, right? But it's the things where you, you drugging people and people and you holding people hostage. You know what I'm saying? When it started coming to sex trafficking people, it's kind of crazy. But then a recent story where you they saying that he's prom he was promising young kids 
uh, contracts to sign with the label, but they have to get oral return. And they were like in the ages of like trigger one. I'm sorry. Uh, Please. They was they was 15 and younger. Nine years old is one of the ages that I heard. Mm. To me, that's sick because like for one, let's not forget, nigga, you have kids. I mean, so does our kids. A lot of them. Yeah, but I'm just saying like. Think, think about, I'm thinking like, yo, you don't have a thought of saying like, yo, what if this is my kid out here trying to get a record deal and you got him doing this? You ain't never think about that? I mean, regardless of whatever your thought process was, why do you think that was okay that you, a nine-year-old, you sick in the fucking head, dude. Put, put that nigga under the fucking jail, man. I mean, is he sick? No, no, no. Oh. We, don't, we don't blame, we're not just blaming. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, bro. I'm for, I'm for, let me go ahead, cook him up. Is Diddy sick? Mm -hmm. Or is he just a representation of a system that has been in place for a long time? <clears throat> like, it's been compared to Epstein mm -hmm. and others. Right. That have done <clears throat> similar things. Okay. We heard these horror stories of these artists. Mm -hmm. We even go to the, uh, the Murder Inc. documentary when Ashanti was saying she was sleeping with my boy uh, Irv Gotti. Mm -hmm. And when they broke up, it got weird with the music. So, yep. my point is, it ain't really that far removed from some, from certain things. Okay. It is an industry of manipulation. It is. It is very much predatory so. gravy. I agree. So, what I'm saying is, it ain't just Diddy. We can't focus on Diddy. It's a lot of people we like and celebrate you absolutely that were complicit in that. So, that's what I mean, like. When I asked, is R. Kelly's career over? Is P. Diddy's career really over? Because all you gotta do is replace the name with somebody else that just ain't getting blamed for this stuff here. They doing the same shit. All right, no, no, I think they doing I the can... same exact thing. No, no, no. I, so I locking you. him up don't do much of anything. I got you. I, okay, so it's I a lot of we didn't we didn't heard about domestic violence from a lot of our favorite people. Mm -hmm. We didn't see videos and photos and all type of shit. Right. What's the repercussions for that? Okay. I agree. I agree. That's, that's what I'm saying. So is the focus the person or is the focus the acts that we should be condemning? All right, so... That's my question. All right, so to answer your question, right? The focus needs to be put in a, a whole perspective and not just focus on one. We're focusing on one right now just simply because he's in the light. Because regardless of it, of it being a system that's already been happening doesn't mean that you have to continue that act. You know, that's saying like, you know how like when people be like, oh, all cops aren't the same, right? You know, in general, they say like, oh, the, the system is, the cops are bad. They're not. That don't mean you have to join the club just because everybody else around you doing it. When your parents used to say like, all right, cool, if everybody else will jump off a bridge, are you gonna do it? Right. And so to me, that's in that same boat. So that's why it's not only the fact of like, the system itself and what Hollywood stands for and what they allow and all that bullshit that's been going on for however long is absolutely disgusting. But also, it's people to people because you have a choice. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. I mean, so that's that's why that's my point. Yeah, so but so, that's why I say that the person is also sick because you're choosing to join in and do that as well. Like, don't get me wrong, of course the system is terrible, but then I start looking at the person. If we all hanging out, if it's five of us hanging out right now, and this dude over here decides to rape somebody, that don't mean we all got to join in and rape the person. The point is that I'm getting at you, you taking it somewhere else that I'm not focusing on. Mm -hmm. If five of us are sitting here, mm -hmm. and this dude decides to rape a girl, okay. the difference is those five people saw Diddy raping a girl, and they watched her rape, watch him rape a girl. Mm -hmm. It's five other dudes in here. If you don't do anything, you are as equally responsible yeah, no, no, for that. I, I, I That's what I'm saying. Yeah, no, I completely agree. That's exactly what I'm saying. So yeah, 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 no, no. Everybody should be held liable for it. I mean, everybody that's in that, everybody that's watched Diddy do some wild shit should be in that. I mean, bodyguards, friends, cousins, brothers, sisters, daughters, mothers. I don't care who it is. Everybody should be liable. And I'm also do. Let's throw it to the parents. When you hear like the Justin Bieber story, right? You hear the Bow Wow saying that. At 13 or 12, whatever age he was, yeah. that Diddy was his guardian. I gotta blame, I gotta start blaming parents too. You that money hungry and that thirsty for fame that you gotta just throw your kid to anywhere? That's why I said it's not just a person. It's yeah, a that's just enough. It's the system. It's the, it's the whole system. thing. You gotta blame a lot of people. But that can. person is also, I feel like every person involved, there's a problem with every person involved. I still gotta hone in on you too. Because y'all don't talk about the system, but. 
it seems they're too powerful that obviously it seems like it's not going to change. So I'm going to hone in on every person that we can. So if you're the one that's in the law, I'm like, I'm going to focus on that shit that you're doing. You the ringleader at the time. I disagree. Okay. That's that's the problem with the faulty system because that's the same problem with Rico because Rico came with the mafia shit. Right? It did. It sure did. It sure did. But the problem with that is any type of affiliate is going under being held liable for stuff like to your point that he may have had nothing to do with. Mm -hmm. But the point is, if you're complicit in complicit, what they're doing, yeah. then, then you, you are responsible. Yeah, you so are responsible. it's not Sorry. about we need to get this one person to Rico. We can every fucking body. So with that being that's, said, that's right? a system thing. That's what I'm saying. They try to remove the system, and now mobs exist in an entirely different ways. Not the same. No, nah, you're right. Front and center, uh, John Gotti's and Alpha Bond. Mm -hmm. Like you don't have that no more. That's the whole point. You want to destroy it. Now a lot of that is corruption in itself. In itself, yeah, yes. that's all another topic. Yeah, the point is, it it's not a. They trying to make it like it's a Diddy thing, and Diddy, he doesn't have that much power as an individual to do anything. Right. Okay. I get what you're saying. That's what I'm saying. That the makes tapes sense. that came, he ain't been with Cassie in years. Mm -hmm. That tape was old as shit. That shit was eight years ago. Well, so that, that's what I'm saying. What was that tape sitting at? And for him to do that publicly, it's plenty of footage and plenty of witnesses to this shit. So mm -hmm. it's it's at least a <laughs> hundred people that should be in jail with him. I agree. And that goes to the point we talking about the the whistleblowers that have been saying this stuff years ago. And they've, they've been, been throwing, trying they've, to call him out for the shit. Yeah, and they've been throwing him under the bus. They've been they've been out here trying to get him out. That's what I'm saying. So that's so. Let me ask you. So, with that being said, right? So, is it a case where you know how like when you watch we watch shows all the time, or you know what I'm saying, and you even hear about like what cops do in real life or whatever? Is it one of those things where do you let the little guy go to get the big person? And so I say, do you let, do you try to build enough where you have Diddy and you hope that he turns on the person above him that turns on the person above them and hope that you can kind of stop this or you gotta, or do you feel like they should, everybody that's involved one by one, no matter where they rank at, should be thrown in jail? I feel like everybody involved should be thrown in jail, but I understand the the game that the feds play mm -hmm. is that right. we hoping you're going to flip. You know what I'm saying? We're going to put so much pressure on you. Um, and now they, all this information is focused on the tapes and all that type of shit, mm -hmm. which means you're going to have to spill, spill some beans on so these other folks that's involved. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It ain't nothing but a blackmail tactic. You understand know what I'm saying? Definitely. It's, right. it's, it's put that out in the air because if these tapes come out and I'm responsible for these tapes come out, not only am I going to jail, <laughs> everybody in my family is in I'm in the blender. <laughs> you understand it's what I'm saying? It's so, a it's a scare tactic, but I mean, uh, I think everybody involved in the system that's complicit with the system. And I've, uh, it is levels to it in terms of all like, uh, you know, the the, the, the BMF mm -hmm. show where he's a drug dealer. He try, comes home trying to give his mom the money or yeah. Snowfall. Yeah. Oh, don't pay my bills with the drug money. And now you look what happened in season six. The mom lost her son to the fucking drug game yeah. because she eventually caved in and started taking the money. Now she's part of his old system and organization. Yeah, literally. So that's what I mean by it's not just Franklin. It's not just Diddy. It's a product of a, 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 a several people a, that are making a conglomerate. 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 There you go. So, I mean, yeah, we can keep making fun of Diddy. We can keep making fun of R. Kelly, but at the end I mean, of the day... I ain't gonna lie. Some of these Diddy jokes are funny, though, dog. Yeah, for sure. Funny. I, mean, I mean, like, because, and honestly, right... Let me ask you, why do you need, people don't, we don't talk about it, we have, but why do you need out of the and baby oil? They said they want baby oil. That's, I was going to say that they next. They said it was drugs. They said it was drugs in that baby oil. You know, I mean, <laughs> perfect example. I've heard of people pretty much taking cocaine and liquefying it, and you know, you sell it off as alcohol, and then when you get it back, you know, you, but, so it could have been the same thing. I think I'm more like the yeah, uh, Quaylu, Rufy, mm -hmm. XTC yeah. type of. But I'm just saying, if it was, I mean, if it was baby oil, right? We ain't got a, we don't have a bleep button, do we? Yet? Not sure. No, we got a bleep button. All right, cool. I'm gonna keep that off camera because it's just. Uh, I'm just saying. All I'm saying is that, you know, women have pH balances, and you don't want to use baby oil in there. Yeah, I use so actual lubricant. Yeah, you gotta use lubricant so that baby oil wasn't used for it. Asshole. You mad fifty seven saying that for a long time. For a long time. Hey, I agree with fifty hey, I don't care what I don't care what people say about fifty. First of all, why this thing ain't even shot again? 
Oh, is he a fan? But that's the end of that. I ain't gonna get a shit on it. You get up for 10. What I will say is, though, mm-hmm. 50 did focus a lot on the gayness accusations. He's been focusing on that for Mad Long, too. He did not like that. He don't, he don't, but he hasn't rocked with Diddy for Mad Long. He don't like it. But he didn't really speak on the other side of things. When it comes to the, the domestic and all this shit, you fuck about. <laughs> you fuck. He's saying he, he's gay, <laughs> so y'all should not like him just like I don't like. Him. Some real boozy like behavior. <laughs> it's just a little crazy, fifty. I ain't gonna lie, he did say he'd be stealing from ours and all this shit. Whatever. Yeah, but nah, but he did focus he, he on that. Yeah. Yo, fifty hate that man, though. He does. He does. Fifty does hate that man. So we uh yeah off that diggy man. We can still talk about music though. Oh. Okay, go ahead. Ain't done with the Diddy. Oh shit! Because there is a history of questionable behavior. Okay. From not only Diddy. Mm-hmm. Here we are. But go ahead. You always gotta find a way to throw some New destiny. York's greatest MC. Big Smalls. The tranny was in the video. Part okay. of my French. Oh snap! Yo, you can't say that. <laughs> it transformed. <laughs> <laughs> Leading in the Big Papa video. Put my shades back on. And when we paired it, was Biggie? Was Biggie on that side, though? All right, so let me say something real quick, right? And it would make sense being that him and Diddy was, you know what I'm saying? Was They was making that type of music and they was dancing and all that. I'm asking. I'm not making any accusations. Mm-hmm. It's been questionable lyrics that people have skimped <laughs> over for the last 30 years. There's a lot of questionable lyrics that Biggie had. All right, that's, however, that's, right? That's my point. All right, we all can't right. point another rapper that has said that many bars that are questionable. Dude makes my have some questionable rappers. He said some, on some aggressive, like, take your man. It's like, he was, <laughs> Biggie was on some. <laughs> Don't, you gonna repeat it? Never. <laughs> you gonna repeat it? Never. <laughs> Just saying. Right. Do you think your man's was on the other side of the ring? See, now, I wouldn't say that just because of how, like, yes, don't get me wrong. Especially that one line that we talked about earlier. That might have been the most out-of-pocket line I've ever heard. Yes. But in other terms, with other lines, I will say that not sure just because of how language was back in the days and, like, the way people spoke. Because, I mean, you think about how, like, nobody batted out when, like, certain things that DMX said just because of, like, nobody was thinking about that. You know, like, the way, like, um... The verb and vernacular that people was using in New York was a little different. Like, you know, right. like when people like, like when on one of Diddy's videos, when he kept calling uh, Nori Daddy, right? Which is crazy, right? But like in New York, back in the days, like 90s and shit, they were saying that in like, like how niggas say son or whatever. Was saying that, that you can point to that, that was doing what Diddy did in that video? No, no, no. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just asking. No, nobody know what I'm saying. I'm just saying, okay. I'm saying, I'm saying words, right? Don't get me wrong. No, that shit that B said was egregious. But all I'm gonna say for that video, I don't think Big really had a say or really cared about the video. He just knew, like you know, what I'm saying that Diddy was out here doing what he did so to get the videos. He's a victim. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Very much so. You see, he died after that. He did. He was killed. He was. He was killed, and it's still unsolved. It's still unsolved. We know what happened to Pop. It's killed. It's still unsolved. No. And they, well, it's unsolved, but we know what happened. They, 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 they saying that Diddy had a hand in that. And they said Diddy had a hand in the uh, Biggie joint too, but you know. I wouldn't be surprised. So, I mean, yeah. So, I mean. I wouldn't be surprised. He's a wild guy. You know he is. Saying? He is. So, I mean, you, you heard about him slapping people up, you know, and whatnot. Yeah, but that's that's different. I'm talking. No, I'm just saying in general. He just he just a wild dude, man. Yeah. He just a wild dude. You, you saw that video of him being a joker? I did see that video of him. Yeah, with the actor dude from Power. From Power, I was ready to put hands and feet on. He was, he was ready. Yeah, he was stop playing with me, dog. Stop <laughs> playing with me. <laughs> and did he want to go on that Joker, Rich Man? Hey, don't, hey, don't do that shit. I'm gonna put hands on him. <laughs> and then you see how many niggas stop. that did he had. <laughs> nigga stop real quick. <laughs> nigga did he had eight niggas. No, what you gonna do with that? That's it, man. So hey, man, you know, did he, did he a freaky ass nigga, man? All I know is, did he ain't the only one that's did he? No, he's not. Did he is just the most public. Mm-hmm. And he has been doing that for a long time. So he clearly thought he was just this most untouchable 
ruthless. You know what I'm saying? Whatever I want to do, I can do time mm-hmm. to do. But listen, man. It's a different time. It's a different day and age, bro. Agree. It's a different day and age. You thought Cass was just some pushover. She put your ass in the dirt. She did. I mean, it, start, it started with that. That's what I'm saying. It started with that. And, it, and it, it's been a wrap ever since. Because all you had to do was pay it. You know what I mean? All you had to do was shut the fuck up and pay it. Really, all you had to do was just not, just not be cr- a criminal. But that's neither in a court. Of course, that was too much ass from him. But cool, you want to be a criminal? You got to pay the tab. Oh, no, no. You say, oh, you got to do is not be a criminal. No, this nigga been a criminal for 30 years. This nigga can't stop. This nigga thought you're always going to stop now? Fuck out of here. See what he he raised and silly ass diss him. Man, listen, I'm done with this. Yo, first of all, I'm done with his kids. I'm not going to lie. That might have been the the most stupid diss I've ever heard in my life. For one, you dissing 50, right? Cool, whatever. You don't need it. But first of all, watch your mouth about fifty cent when you are the son of P Diddy. Yeah, you you have to shut the you fuck up. You gotta shut up. You gotta shut the fuck up. You gotta shut up. But not only that, right? You tell the one thing that you shouldn't do is ever say hey in a song, yo, y'all raided the wrong house. This ain't this ain't this ain't Miami P D you talking to though. This is the FB fucking I, the feds. When niggas get Rico cases, you see how long Thug been in jail for? Tough. This nigga can't get a miss shot to save his life. And that's the state, they ain't even the federal. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Look who he raised. His son is just like him, just goofy. He's goofy. Just, <laughs> just stupid shit. They be thinking they just running around untouchable, bro. Y'all, y'all gotta knock it off. Y'all not did it yet by no means, so y'all gonna get touched. Bro, it was taken down. Do y'all know how powerful the mob was at one point, bro? It was running the unions that was doing the construction for the state. No, literally. Literally. That means it no, wouldn't I mean, be no damn apartment housing if it wasn't the, for... I was running the cops at one point, nigga. That's what I'm saying. They, they was running precincts, nigga. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Y'all better leave so, me. So the little rap guy <laughs> running around with Young Miami and all that, <laughs> he's going under too, my brother. <laughs> Somebody's get, They took down Trump, man. Well, they tried. They tried. They tried. This, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he convicted, but he... Yo, that's the only nigga that's in felony. That's felony, that nigga. This nigga only the felony. The only felony that I know they ain't never been in jail. He ain't do a day. Sit down some of them guys, it's my boy. Your dad ain't exempt, my boy. Knock by, out. By no means. By no means. Uh, if that's like, if none of the shit that he's been doing is contributing to his, like, money, then it lives on. I'm saying as far as, like, I mean, because one of them sons want to be just like him, a public figure and all that. Um, the, the, the one that looked just like him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So and that's the, that's the one that we doing the stupid ass songs. Yep. Yeah, he he gonna fail. Um, I ain't gonna say it like that. But <laughs> yeah, that, that's a wrap for that. Get that out of here. Hey, bro, um, right, man. You want you want to talk about music, dog? Yeah, what we got, man? What drop? Man. Well, um, a few things drop. You know, well, we can go back like a week or two. Future dropped a third project, the third project of the year. Mixtape Pluto. Mm-hmm. Um, have you noticed that Future does that? That. Besides, like his one-off albums, he always he has to do a mixtape leading or a few mixtape leading up to an album, or he'll drop a mixtape and then two albums. This one that he just did reverse, he just did the two albums and then the mixtape. He, uh, he did the same thing with the Future and Hendrix. Then he dropped the mixtape right before that. Did he? Yeah. Let me look at this catalog, man. So I mean, I don't know. He he does drop a lot of fucking music. Let me look at Future's catalog, man. He is an all-time great. So let's start there. Let's, let's be respectful when we enter this conversation. So I don't like the tonality he uses. He is an all time great. Future's an all time great. Got more number ones than any rapper outside of Drake and Jay Z, Kanye in, in history. Oh, no, I'm not taking I was waiting for you to finish. Nah, I, I agree. Nah, Future is one of them guys. Future is one of those guys. He's yes. a legend. This nigga got a lot of fucking music, he's yo. A, he's a arguably top 10 rapper ever, too. Hip-hop artist. When you look at the success and impact. It's the same. We gotta have that conversation. When you go number one three times in the same year. I remember mean, y'all was having that shit over DMX, right? Right? Fucking right, boys. He did it three times. Yeah, he did it three times. Okay. Well, no, no, he did, he did it twice in the same year. Exactly. Yeah. Future did it three times, right? Yeah. Okay. That's cute. Oh, it's cute. Yeah. But it was it was all time history when Damn it, he sold more records. Did he? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. I mean, cause I'm looking at the Central Album, he got one. 
That's, that's one Central album. That was the first one. I'm looking at Future. You got seven. Essential yeah. albums. <laughs> they think all them shits are the same. No, you got three. <laughs> you got three. Nigga, we're running back. <laughs> but yeah, nah, so um, Future dropped Mixtape Pluto. He did. And um, it did go number one. It did. And um, 100 plus thousand sold yeah, in a it was like dying. It was like 152,000. In a dying rap economy. Yeah. So, so that, that, that's great. It's that's amazing. Great. And that's coming off the 250 and the 300. Yeah, for the other two albums. Oh, so now. we don't trust you and we still don't trust you. Correct. So that's, that's great. It's phenomenal. Um, so you listened to the album? I did. I listened to the mixtape, yeah. And what are your thoughts? I think Future uh, is 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 definitely in, in his Drake uh, business plan. Okay. What to where uh, nothing he releases is going to veer off too far from what his main artist is going to be happy with. And what he's been doing. And what he's been doing. Okay. So, yeah, he, he's sticking to his plan because it works for him. That's what I would say. Okay. Uh, is it for me? I'm not in that place in my life. Yeah. So it might be good music if I was, you know what I mean, back in college, 20, 20 years old right now. I'm straight. For me, it's it's solid for what it is, for where where I would want to be listening to it. You know, don't get me wrong, I'm not putting it on. If I'm putting it on in the car, it's because, like, it's time. It's party time. Yeah. Everything, to me, a lot of future rap songs sound like. Now I'm I, agree. I like I like R and B future more at this point. Okay. Um, but a lot of his rap songs sound just like this mixtape joint sound like it was the rest of We Don't Trust You that he that didn't make the album. That's, yeah, the second half part. Yeah. So it's just like that same the sounds pretty much the same almost. We know exactly what to hear from future. Correct. So yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, I mean it's not like it's bad, but it's not something I want to hear. Continuously, yeah. I mean, I, I agree. I think this is a, just the worst version of what he's been doing. Like we've heard this mixtape before. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, we've heard the Dirty Sprites and the Monsters, right. and Fifty Six Nights. Sorry. Um. Right now, I think he's kind of over, uh, oversaturating the market with his music a little bit. Like just like how he did break. before. Yes. Yeah. 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 Hey, we definitely could use a break from his music. I mean, but I understand at the same time, he is. Outside of the the Drakes and the J Coles and the um, Kendricks, he mm-hmm. is putting up the, the big those three, numbers. Yeah, those he's numbers. putting those, so those numbers. Yeah, he is. He's kind of carrying the rap industry right now when it, when it comes to, to bodies of work. Definitely, I agree. And future still, you know, when after going through this year of music of you know after the hype of the Drake and Kendrick beef and all of that stuff, it's still the sound that's it's still future sound. You know, yeah, we don't you know we haven't heard. There hasn't been enough music to say like, oh man, he sound like anything else. It's still future. Yeah. You know, it's not you don't put it all in the same like you still don't I don't put him in the, you can't put him in the category with those three guys of no. the Drake, the uh Kendrick and Coles. Cause nothing of that sounds similar. I mean maybe maybe Drake. I'm gonna say I, I could definitely put yeah. them in a box together. Yeah, with Drake. But other than that, you know, those other two guys, the Coles and the Kendricks, you're not gonna sound like that. So we know what future sound is. But I mean, if he's still gonna sell, to me, it's like if you still gonna sell, might as well. And that's what you know, like you said, he's doing like what Drake did. Drake been doing a lot of just putting out music because you know he's gonna sell. Yeah, I mean, I think I think he is the market. I think to, he is Drake today. I think okay. he has taken that spot. Okay. As far as I mean, he's never going to be Drake commercially successful because mm-hmm. that's that's not the the fan base he's built. Yeah, his fan base is very specific to and his his music track music. music yeah. and, you know what I mean, of course he do the R and B shit, but I mean, that's not what has carried future. No, not at all, not at all. To this point, you know what I mean, but he is the Drake today as far as any time a product. Well, at least let's say the last um, since Scorpion. Mm-hmm. Since Scorpion, to where anytime Future announces an album, it's excitement. It is. It is. It people is. are going to listen. People are going to hype up every song the first time they hear it. Now, like it's the greatest shit. Greatest thing ever. It's I the same it. thing with Future. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Whether it's good or not, people are going to the first day, first listen, first. Oh my gosh, this is great! I mean, we can look at our text message on group said, "Oh, this is great." This is great. Uh, are you sure? I think he is the future today. Everybody else, I think, is get critiqued at, at this point now. I think even Drake has finally got to the point where I mean it took Kendrick to do it. Well, it really didn't. 
it did, but on a mass on a massive scale, it took Kendrick for everybody to be like, okay, we kind of heard this music from you. We've heard better, mm-hmm. but people started the talk started around after Scorpion, like it was like, okay, I don't think this the same version of the rap we're gonna get. I think he might have reached his peak. He reached his peak. I think yeah. with Scorpion, it was like, all right, what the fuck. You now it's down so and then you hear the certified lover boy, you be like, okay. Yeah. Alright, bro, like we get it. We absolutely get it. Yeah, same with Kanye. People mm-hmm. think I mean, you got to the point of where like the the core fan base is gonna like it, but we probably heard a better version of better version, yeah, definitely. I can really stuff. Agree. So yeah, I think Future is finally at that point to where he can whatever he drops. It's gonna do what it does, yeah. but it's like we already know exactly what to hear from you, we yeah. get it. Everybody else gonna get critiqued. Kendrick, J. Cole, all them get critiqued. Yeah, so it is what it is. They could, that's because they don't drop the same shit over and over. Correct, I mean, and it, it's and they don't drop as often. Correct, you know. So, um, but also new music. The weekend drop two songs. We can did drop. He dropped two songs. Just to show, hey, go ahead, man. And, right, so, right, I mean, so, you man. know, two songs by the weekend. First of all, you know, I was I was excited. I mean, he had a he had a concert in. Brazil. Sao Paulo, yep. uh, Brazil, sold out concert. Phenomenal performance. Yeah, it, was, it was great. You know, great. listen, I mean, The Weeknd is one of the greats. He is, for you sure. Know, he's one of the greats. We know exactly what he does. Pop star. Is mm-hmm. he on the list? I think he is on the list. Yeah. So, I mean. Came in at number 18, number 18. on Billboard's. Top 25 greatest pop stars of the 21st century. Correct. Number 18. And he's still going. Yeah. So I mean, and, and for someone who just came out in the, in the second half part of you know the two thousands, two thousand ten, he came out two thousand eleven. So I mean, you know, great. But um, he dropped two songs, "Dancing in the Flames," where he had this um, co-op or whatever with Apple. You know, they supposedly shot the uh, video on the iPhone sixteen. I did not know that. Oh yeah, so that was the whole thing. They had a video out. Yeah, there's a video for "Dancing in the Flames." Okay. Um, the first song that he dropped. Idea, yeah, so it was supposed to be it's supposedly shot on the iPhone 16, so that was song. And then he dropped a song with one of the hottest people out right now who still hasn't put out his own fucking music, uh Playboy Cardi. He dropped a single too, watch your fucking mouth. Oh red, and they said that's that shit's old. It sounded good to me. <laughs> what the fuck you talking about? That shit was fire. I ain't like it too much. I gotta listen to it again. Maybe I gotta listen to it out in like big oh, speakers. No, yeah. Cause so. technically Playboy Cardi's in that conversation too for being the guy being the guy right now yes everybody wanted right everybody want a verse from him yes, yes. everybody wants something from playboy cardi you just don't like you say you don't drop price yeah. so <laughs> it's hard to get i mean it's, it's like come on though we don't know what we get from you though please drop something yes so um yeah dancing in flames and then thomas you know um thomas is more of a you know more of a it's a lot of playboy cardi on this yeah it's very much a lot of playboy cardi like the sound of it is kind of playboy cardi the weekend it seems like he did a feature yeah, it does. And which I can see. I get it. To do the Kanye, let your man shine on the mm-hmm. song. You know I get it. And Playboy is hottest fish grease right now. Yes. So I mean, it's at this point, it's like you, you let him go. Yeah. So um, I like both of the songs. I like both of the songs. Okay. I no, I do. I think they're the greatest exhibit for what he did. Because I mean, I don't look at uh, Thomas as a weekend song at this point. So I'm like, okay, that's fair. So I'm just like, okay, you play with Cardi, that's cool. I, I like to hear you with the weekend. It's cool. But I mean, I like it. It's solid. I don't think it's great, but it's solid. It's something I can listen to. Dancing in the Flame is a pop song that I I can hear from the weekend. He don't really, he doesn't make bad pop music. I mean, so, let's, uh, let's be let's be honest though. This oh, is, it's not great by no means. I'm I'm with these two coming out. I expect that you need to your album has to be top tier. Yes. Especially from the last, like, I mean, we that's, can critique. I'm saying, let's, yeah, let's, we can critique all the albums that has come out. But, you know, we, once we got to the album, we're like, okay, this sounds good. Since After Hours, The weekend as a person has been hotter than ever. Mm-hmm. Creatively, in terms of music, he's been on a decline. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's not been my favorite. Since movie. After Hours, the deluxe. It's been like... Yeah, Don't F wasn't, wasn't... You just gave us an 80 sounding project. Why do we need a second 80 sounding project with Don F M? Part of the trilogy. It didn't sound good. Part of the trilogy, though. Don F M wasn't bad, though. It didn't sound like After Hours. No, it did. It did. It but it's not, did. It's, it's, it was... I mean, it was very solid. 
just saying in comparison. Then you, we come off that. I mean, I give it. I, I gave it a six and a half, seven out of ten. It didn't sell the greatest, but right. he's still doing stadiums. So I'm saying he had the bit like one of the biggest songs of the twenty, like ever really. The, the uh, blind, blind of lights, yeah, it was humongous. Super Bowl and all that. Like he really was him. Yeah. Like like I said, as a, as an individual, he probably him because I think he might have surpassed Bad Bunny on the slick. Yeah. Uh, him That's and Bad Bunny have had like two of the biggest moments of like the last. I don't know, since like you giving Michael Jackson yeah, moments. Yeah, music history yeah. at this point. Yeah. You can throw Taylor Swift in there, cool. Mm-hmm. Whatever. But the music? Yeah, it hasn't been the greatest. Then you pair it with the failed TV series, because he tried to make the transition. I like the TV Cause series. Because I, I, I know for a fact he had some issues with the label. He's boycotting the Grammys, all mm-hmm. that, because he definitely got snubbed. He definitely so he might have got the label support on Don FM he wanted. And then You're he right. tried to transition into the TV, TV. shit. And do the and do the music for that. The music for that was actually pretty good. The music for, for that was good actually, but, but the, the show, show was, people people wasn't feeling the show. It wasn't good. They canceled the shit on his ass. It did. I like the show. And now since then we've been waiting. He's been doing little singles here and there. He had the shit with uh, Playboy Cardi actually again. The popular. Yep, that was off of that. Uh, you know the idol joint. The idol joint. And I actually like that song. It's cool. But the impacts of the songs he's been dropping lately. Hasn't hasn't been there. It's been it's been yeah. It's been yeah. lackluster. It has. We're waiting for the album at this point. I mean, I just feel it's like you know that the album has to the album has to show something. So especially yeah. since he said this is the end of a trilogy. He's changing up. He's no longer going as the weekend. He's going to be going with able now. So I mean, it feels like as it, as you end this trilogy, you have to give something, give us something to look forward to from the, from now on since you're starting over. Yeah, because the rollout has been amazing. It has. It has, especially with these these stadium shows that you've had. He had two, actually. I know he had the one in Brazil, then he just had one in, what, California, right? Mm-hmm. So you have two big stadium shows. So, I mean... And to pair that with even before these two singles, the big feature with Future, mm-hmm. where he's officially drawn a line in the sand against the other Toronto superstar, mm-hmm. Drake. He had, he had a few songs with Future, you know, he, he was on the intro of the first We Don't Trust You, then he had the, the other one where he drew the line, so I mean, yeah, so he was all over the background vocals you know, of that. At this point, I'm excited, but I'm not optimistic on that it's going to live up to expectations. Yeah, the expectations are, the bar is high. It's extremely high. high. We need a classic. We yeah. definitely need, this is the moment to solidify yourself as, okay, now we're looking at him in a different tier. So let me let me ask you a question, right? Say if it doesn't live up to the stand, the expectations, right? Mm-hmm. Because you know we expect him that he's probably gonna put out more music. Um, do you, does he still have a chance to redeem himself? Absolutely. Okay. He always does, but I mean, there's no more important time than now. Yeah, no, no, I completely agree. I completely agree. So completely agree. So I mean, I, I would just. Just I saying. think the same happened. I think the same thing happened to Bad Bunny. Like he had the biggest album in you in, in fucking world history. Yeah, he and did. he followed it up and switched to sound, and where he's doing like the reggae song rapping. It's like the uh, they're still playing the last <laughs> album. Like, it's not bad, but it's like yeah, uh, we the, got uh, high expectations, bro. Yeah, we we, we heard we it. heard what you really play. So I mean, I'm looking forward to the album. I don't know when it's gonna come out. I love oh, his. Either. I love his uh, his creativity. Like mm-hmm. his it's real. Kendrick Lamar to me in terms of how intentional he is. With very, Kendrick very much so. I agree. He's still a real artist at the end of the day, but mm-hmm. he still focuses you, hard on the music. You got to give me some better production, bro. I agree with that. I think you that's what it is. to give me some better. And you know, production. if you you know it's you know what I, how the for me the bad part of the song with uh, Cardi Thomas joint is the production. Yes, it is a Pharrell produced song, but you can see that Pharrell doesn't have Chad anymore. <laughs> yeah, Pharrell's been stinky for a few years. At this yeah, point. so I mean, except for except for what he did with uh, Push T album. Pharrell's, oh yeah, yeah. Pharrell's, yeah, Pharrell's yeah. Uh, production has been real. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, so you can tell that him and Chad broke up. So I mean, that song wasn't the greatest. That that production wasn't the greatest for the weekend. And and to me, for a weekend and Playboy track, you have to come harder than that, especially because, like you said, the weekends. Notoriety is at it's an all time high, time, and yeah. Playboy Cardi is. They people yeah. are begging for Playboy Cardi to drop something, for yeah. something, 
And so it's, that should have been through the roof. You gotta nail that. Yeah, immediately. And, and usually, what the weekend does with his singles is like it's such a representation of what the album is going to be. Sound like, like it, yeah. it never goes left field. Like it always is mm-hmm. what you can expect. Um, Cause when he dropped that gasoline off that done that film, I was like, okay, this is going to be a different sound and type yeah. of album. Yeah. So you gonna you heard how much pop it was? Yeah. You gonna hear it? Cause I mean, surprisingly, but when he dropped Heartless off of After Hours, that's true. That that sound is his sound kind of. It goes wasn't back that. Yeah, that's, that is know? true. He had a little bit of both. Both in there, but yeah. it was really, yeah. So I mean, I think that's what he's kind of doing with this. You know, you heard if you heard uh, Dancing in the Flames and you hear this. I feel like it's gonna be another one's gonna find a balance of being in between. So it might be another representation of what after hours is, where it's gonna be poppy and have some of that hip hop esque sound to it. You know, like what he did, like on after hours where he had Metro on there. And I mean all the tracks that I heard with him in future, there's no reason that Metro isn't all over this album. I'll say this, um after hours he had no features at all. He had not one feature. I would love for him to get back to that. To no features? Yes. Yeah, I completely agree. I agree. Yes. Even though I didn't mind Starboy. He had some features on Starboy, and I like that album. This was a solid album. It's a solid album. Yeah. Couple features, yeah. Couple features, couple. I like Weekend when he's by himself. He can really get creative and get in his bag. I agree. I would say that. I agree. So yeah, give me give me House of Balloons weekend. If you give me Thursday or House of Balloons right now, oh yeah. uh, man, we can we can get. Hey, I'm I'm going to buy the album and the vinyl. Yeah, and I'm going to buy if you can give me House of Balloons Thursday or After Hours, I think we we talking about another class. We talking about another moment. That's yeah. what I think we talking. Where about. where he's he's in that stratosphere of like almost untouchable at this point. I think we I think we pushing him to the Beyonce. I I agree. That's I mean, you see, he's doing he's doing these stadium tours. Yes, I without think. a doubt. I think we push him into the Beyonce category, man. All time icon. Yeah. I'm sorry. But I mean, he's had, and to me, he introduced a sound that wasn't there. Correct. When he came in with, when he came in with that, um, what's it called? That was it, House of Balloons. Yeah. When he came in with that, nobody was doing that sound. I feel like real drug music. That yes, yes, literally. Very graphic. <laughs> very, drug, drug very graphic drugs and prostitution would sound like. That's exactly what he was doing. So. I mean, we'll see, man. I, everybody likes the weekend. We got, we got high hopes for him, so we'll we'll see what happens. So, um, any any other music? Uh, do we have any other music? Oh, ASAP Ferg dropped the song featuring Future. He did, and called Allure. Allure, and people are talking about that Future line a lot. With, I hear. Oh, I hear Future the said that he said you uh took a plea on. Something like that, you snitched on the, on my homie Slime or whatever. You, I won't be surprised if you end up dead. People were saying, like, you know, he's... Let me, let me, pull, up the, let me pull up this song here. What's it called? The Lord right there. And, yeah, he's, so... He's lyrics. He, he, you know, he, he's shooting... It sound, everybody's saying that he's shooting that thug. I mean, not thug, that uh, gunner. A hundred killers. No, okay. Mm-hmm. You done took... Hold on, hold on. Yep. A hundred killers when I'm in the city... Like they want my head. Mm-hmm. I'm just a street nigga. Just rapping. My day ones went fed. Mm-hmm. You done took a plea on my slime. Mm-hmm. Won't be surprised if you end up dead. Mm-hmm. I've been going crazy in a trap. I need to take my med. See, Future is the epitome <laughs> of what every street dude wants to be when they go in the booth. Like they wish they could just come up with these lines. He is the epitome. That's why he would never, he'll never flop again. As long as this little nuts out here doing the whipping shit, <laughs> that shit sound hard just reading it. So yeah. I, don't know, I don't know what the beat sounds. The beat is. Yeah, because I heard the snippet in it. Ace that for again. Yeah. Hey, man. Ace that big song, though. That's Ace hard. Too. That's This is the type of shit that somebody on the street and get tattooed on them young. That, that's exactly what's going to happen. All these, like you said, one of them niggas doing them fucking helium and shit. Yes. Hey, man. When I heard it, I was like, come on, future. First of all, you told me you know this, but. He is who he is, though. Man. He is. I mean, and, that, and that's one of those that's things where, like, you know, like, that saying of, like, you, know, you can take a nigga out of the shoot, you never take a shoot out of the nigga. Like, that's, that's, that he's the epitome of that. I mean, he's, he's very much like P. Diddy, man. He is who he is, bro. No matter what. I agree. No matter how, how far he yeah. moves. You know I'm saying? Even the most street dudes, they, they'll show a little different side. Future has been the same dude since he came out. I mean. He's been a very I mean, same if guy. If you want to be honest, right? 
Anytime Jay Z raps, this nigga will not let these drug bar go. That's a fact. But <laughs> to be fair, it's a, it's looks and, and it's it's delivered a lot differently now. I mean, yeah, it's, it it, de- it definitely delivered differently. It's but a, a but he's still gonna he's still gonna talk about that fucking that crack pot though. He's still gonna talk about selling bricks. It's, it's like yo, my nigga. You a billion up, bro. Yeah, nah, I'm, I'm, letting y'all niggas, <laughs> I'm letting y'all niggas know, though. I got the last time he tried to be clean with that, that poetry shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> that, that you don't know how to rap. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't talking about some street. He can't rap that good. Let <laughs> me say, yo, bro. This nigga say, yo, I can't talk about drugs in this? Fuck. Uh, I'm waiting to hear a song with Pusha T keeps it clean. I cannot wait because his brother done did it. But you think Pusha T's going to say, Pusha T ain't going to church? I feel like the Clips album, he's going to strive into that lane about that because they, they're coming out with a project. They are coming out with a project, and I'm looking, I'm, I'm very, I'm looking forward. And a lot of people say his brother was the better rapper. I thought it was pretty even, and they sound the same to me. I've heard a lot of people say that the, uh, he was the better rapper. Yes. So, but, yeah, as much as he kept it clean, I don't know if, I don't know if that's pushes, if that's pushes him at this point. We'll see. I, I know he's ain't gonna be doing this bullshit Jay Z was doing. That whole that shit was horrible. And y'all don't want to keep it real. That shit was horrible. Now, you None know, rapping that. First of all, do you think I was about to get through eight minutes listen, of that shit? <laughs> listen, if y'all can talk about how trash Kanye bars me, <laughs> y'all better bring Jay Z ass up to the stand. No, because Jay Z was, was horrible. He wasn't rapping on that. He was. He was. He was that nigga he was doing put a, poem. a three minute poem first, like Wale used to do <laughs> on that shit. And people was confused, so they just ignored it because they didn't know what the fuck was going on. What was the name of that fucking movie? You? Uh, Even, um, oh my god, I'm trying to oh find shit. that song because it was a, it, it was for like a soundtrack or some shit. Yeah, it was. Oh Dead shit. Dead John. First of all, horrible. Listen, man, nobody gonna talk about it. See, y'all be scared to death because we do know who we're talking about, Jay Z, right now. Who? Brought ass on Pierce Morgan. Who? Jaguar Wright. We don't know who she is, man. We do know who she is. I don't know who she is, though. She's an artist. Man, and she just be talking shit about everybody from what I hear. She talking about Jay right now, nigga. Don't try to deflect. Oh, I don't know. I haven't heard. That ain't that ain't my Google's man. She said Jay Z is just as much of a monster as P. Diddy. Mm. Why she the only person coming out about it? Who who said she was the only person coming out about it? She just got brought onto a national platform recently. Okay. That's that's all I'm asking. That's all I'm saying. So so what we what we going from here? Because a lot of people been calling out Jay Z about you say you don't fuck with the snitches and all that, but the head. Oh yeah, what well, used used to be forming. Used to be. We know what Dame Dash been talking going on. That, that's what I'm saying. This ain't the first person to try to bring this to life. Hey man. We know Dame Dash been hitting that. You know what I mean? The Lee and in, in, in a in a hey hey. It was the heart that fall. Dr. J. Fall. That's actually a good movie. Yeah, it was actually something. But I'm just saying. Where we going with this? <sighs> hey, man. Your man is under accusations. We've been, though, the card has been Illuminati talks for years, so. What we doing? You believe in Illuminati? I mean, I think P. Diddy is a live representation of what the Illuminati is, right? Wouldn't, wouldn't you say so? Wouldn't you say exchanging contracts for what you just... Ain't that what you explain? Is that not what they be saying Illuminati is? Selling your soul. Exactly. You got to sacrifice. Oh, you know what? He did have a few sacrifices. Mm. Mm. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Hey, man. Listen, dog. I don't know. I don't know. Listen, man. I quote Jaguar Wright. For years, I've been screaming, not just Diddy, but Diddy and Jay-Z are monsters. And the victim-making machine kept going on. Morgan asked why Hove has yet to speak out on Diddy. And Wright called the Rockefeller co-founder out by replying because that's what he does as well. He starts little fires everywhere and forces everyone to carry water while he sneaks away without a response. That changes now. Sean, you must respond, you have no choice. Harvey Weinstein, she says. Jeffrey Epstein, Robert Kelly, Sean Combs all have one person professionally and privately in common. 
yours truly, Jay Z. That's crazy. Speak to it, nigga. I'm covering my face, nigga. I don't know what the fuck you said. I'm reading what, what the interview said. This is on the public platform. I mean, you know what I'm saying? What's your opinion on what she said? I mean, that's her opinion. I don't know what to be true. What do you think about what she said? Hey, man, they, they all part of the same industry. All them niggas might be terrible until that shit I come out. I asked me. about all of them. I asked about what she said about Jay-Z. Your yes. favorite rapper. Yes. Your goats. So speak about it. Man. Don't tell me about reason but down all this shit. Speak about what she said, nigga. Can I tell you about blueprint? Oh, see? See, now you're going to deflect, man. Nah, I But when Ye was going to all this shit, you want to speak about Ye and all every other topic, right? All right, then. So speak about Jay. Hey, Jay. You ain't want to speak about Ye. You know that about Jay. And you want to speak about your favorite TV. We brought him up, dude. So all I'm saying, right? I don't know whether it's true or not. If, and when it comes out in the light, I'm going to treat him like how I treat Diddy. You a monster, you a sicko. Something wrong with you. And then that goes back to the same thing. It's the whole system. All you niggas is fucking... That's not what you said, though. No, no, I said go back to what you said. Stop making it about I... everybody else. No, no, Talk that's what you did. Jay. That's what you did. When you, you said see every, every answer got something to do with all the hey, other things. Hey, that's what you said. You said, system. you said, do we just blame you? I, I asked you, you, ask you about what you think about jail. Hey, man, if system. you hey, if you're doing that shit, man, you a freaky ass... Nut ass, insane ass nigga, and you need to be under the jail too. If right, it's if. <laughs> this is all if. It's all if, man. Yeah, so, no, no, great opinion, yeah, extremely. Fuck out of here. Hey man, I'm scared man. What you want, what, what, what you gotta say about it? What you think? I think. Hey, no, no. What you think, nigga? I'm trying. Can I speak, nigga? No, no. I want you to get it out. Listen, man. I think this is another sign of somebody that's that, that done a whistleblower that they're gonna call crazy and gonna fuck around and be like, oh yeah. It's just to, this one, no, this remind me of? Go ahead, tell me. Kiki Palmer went on the Breakfast Club and said Trey Songs intimidated her and had her uncomfortable as fuck on one of the sets of the music videos. Right? Years ago, right? Mm hmm. And you know what? Kiki Palmer, she always been weird. She always been off. She always been dramatic. Can you tell the people what happened? Years after that, the allegations that followed. Oh, the mad rape allegations. Mad right? lawsuits, everything, right? I could foresee something similar happening in this situation. Okay. That's all I'm saying. Okay. All I would say it sounds eerily similar mm -hmm. to something we've heard and seen before. Okay. Right? Because mm -hmm. niggas was talking about Diddy killed Tupac years ago. They was talking about Diddy killed Kim Cordy years ago. Nas was saying Jay Z is a fake and a lie here, so <laughs> they ain't been saying this shit for 30, 20 years. So I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. You talking about if nigga, if we got people that's been saying this shit for years, they ain't come out with no proof. All right, man. Hey, <laughs> hey, man. You know what I'm saying? All right, dog. That's all I'm saying. Dog. Okay, cool. That's cool with me. I ain't got nothing to say about this. All right, man. This nigga scared to speak, man. I ain't got nothing to say, we man. We gonna wrap it up, man. He don't want to keep it real because it, when his when his man's under the fire, he want to turn the blind eye. That's the problem with me. I mean, oh, no, nah, I ain't turning the blind eye. I said I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it one just like the rest of these niggas. You uh, see, though, if you doing the same shit, if you doing the same exact shit, get that nigga the fuck out. Why of here. you keep saying just like the rest of these niggas? I'm asking about Jay Z. I said just like I say about the rest of these niggas. You what they got to do with the rest? Though? I'm, I'm talking about Jay. I'm gonna keep it under like the rest of these niggas, man. You don't want to say Jay Z. <laughs> God damn it! All you niggas is nasty, Jay. If you doing that, hey, I'm gonna say it like this. Oh, if you doing that shit, hey man, I something wrong with you, dog. Hey, you something wrong with you, you No, 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 nah, you nah, something you wrong don't with you. Talk, nah, you a sicko, dog. You probably getting fucked in the ass too, dog. That's what y'all niggas be doing. That's what happens. Y'all niggas be fucking each other in the ass and they be changing y'all niggas, man. I can't say that. Can I? <laughs> you only say that because I'm gonna be cut out. Nigga, I don't want to still want to speak for real. Man. No, 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 no. You keep that in there. For real, keep that in there, dog. I'm, 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 I'm just saying, dog. Man, like. No, 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 no. I got one more thing to say, man. All you niggas touching on kids, sex trafficking people, raping people, sorry, raping people, whatever. Trigger one. All you motherfuckers need to be under the jail. That include Diddy, that include Jay Z, that include whoever the fuck else is involved. All you niggas need to be under the jail. Y'all should be ashamed of yourselves and burn. I agree. It's disgusting behavior, sickness. It is a real sickness going on around here. It is. Here. And they need to be put on the spot so we can get them the fuck out of here. You can't save everybody, man. 
let them be the first to get gone. Yeah, you nasty fucks. Gonna close it out, man. Lock all these niggas up. Please. I'm out, man. Like, follow, subscribe. Click the bell notification, motherfuckers. So next time, comment, interact. I mean, share some thoughts. Go out there and sell some crack, son. All the above, man. I'm out. I'm in.